But now, there have been different reports of indiscipline concerning Nigerian soldiers and former head of state Yakubu Gawan is on the side of punishing officers who break the army's code of ethics. He made these comments at a golf event in honor of another retired officer, Ibrahim Haruna, who was celebrating his 79th birthday. Taya Modu reports. <laughs> There has been some controversy in recent times about the rules of engagement employed by the Nigerian army in the theater of war, and whether this has applied in its engagement with Boko Haram terrorists in the ongoing insurgency war in the Northeast. Amnesty International had consistently accused the Nigerian military of gross human rights violations, such as extrajudicial killings, unlawful arrests, and detention of suspects in inhabitable conditions. The Nigerian military on its part had denied these accusations and even accused Amnesty International of spreading fictitious allegations aimed at destabilizing Nigeria. The former head of state provides an insight to the Nigerian military's mode of operations. It is at a golf event to honor General Ibrahim Aruno on his 79th birthday. Former head of state General Yaku Guam is guest of honor and it is a time to reminisce on the Nigerian civil war. He describes General Haruno as one of the young officers who he gave high command during the Civil War, being the rear commander of the Guards Division in Kaduna during the early stages of the war, but who was later appointed General Officer commanding two divisions in Onesha. He believes General Haruno distinguished himself in his new post, being crucial in holding grounds gained after a counter-attack was mounted to, displace, mounted to displace him and his unit no sooner than he got to Onisha. The story of Onisha was uh, the first attempt was a disaster, but courageously uh, he later on went through the area that I uh, told him, and uh, you know, came uh, you know through Nine Mile Corner, uh, Oka, uh, into uh, and captured uh, you know, Onisha. That there is a stipulated code of conduct that the Nigerian army sticks to during a time of war and any officer who goes against it is summarily dealt with. When he was doing that fighting, he was fighting uh, in accordance with the code of conduct that we've given our troops uh, you know, at that time to defend, to protect uh, you know, old people, uh, women, pregnant women, uh, you know, women and children. These explanations may go some way to exonerate the Nigerian military of some so-called atrocities it is accused of. But there are those that argue that the situation of war differs in every situation, and the same can be said about the civil war. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja.